clean up brush. You were supposed to sell 10.5 pounds of green beans. But I sold 3.4 pounds last month. That's three pounds and four tenths of a pound. What are we, a charity? Get out there and sell another 7.1 pounds. Let's talk about one tenth. We can say point one when we talk about one tenth. That is the recipe. In other words, if you want to break up one into ten equal pieces, one tenth, that's one small part. You'll need ten of these equal parts to get one whole. Let's continue. Two tenths. I want to have two equal parts as I march on to filling up my one. Two tenths is written as a decimal, like so. Point two. Now, for people in healthcare, it's very important to say 0 0.2. You'll understand when you get older, but the long and short of it is this makes it easier to make sure there's no mistake. You mean two tenths when you say 0 0.2. Come on, Greater Gator, don't eat Hezzy. Come on, no. Hey, don't eat me, Greater Gator. Two tenths, two equal parts to making the whole. What if you have three tenths? That's gonna look like this, three tenths. Ha ha, that's point three. Or for those future medical professionals, that is 0 0.3. <laughs> now, three tenths means we have three equal parts. Boop, 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 boop. We're marching our way to making one whole. Let's not stop. Don't get scared. Let's do four tenths. Four tenths. If you have four equal parts that make up one whole number, then you can write this as 0.4. <laughs> Point four. <laughs> That's a zero, not a 16. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now let's do five tenths. We want to have half of our one whole number mapped out. We have five equal parts. We can write this as, hey, you got it. Point five. Make a big old dot, dot. And then you have your five tenths written as a decimal. Remember, this is a decimal. D-E-C-I-M-A-L, decimal. That's what we have when we have the dot. And this right here is halfway to the hole, five tenths. Don't stop, don't quit, don't get scared. Let's do six tenths. If you have six of these equal parts that make up one hole, then you can write this as 0.6. Again, you can say that is 0 0.6, but you do not have to. This is optional at this point in your lives. It's just to reinforce you're working with the decimal, the dot. Six tenths. Now, we are nearly there. We have seven tenths. And if you are just now joining us, hey, you can double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven equal bricks here, making up one hole. We will say that seven of these 10 that make up the hole can be written like so. 0.7 dot, that means decimal. What about eight tenths? Ooh, we have nearly completed our mission here. Eight tenths. We have eight of these bricks filling up the one whole number. We can say it's, oop, gotta make that bigger. Point eight. Woo hoo, yeah. All right, now we can do nine tenths. I have nine yellow bricks. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tenths. Don't get scared. Okay, this is point nine. Point nine. That is our decimal representation. 
for writing this fraction, 9 tenths. And last but not least, if you have 10, ten, ten tenths, that is one whole number. One. Ten equal parts. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Si, sí, we have ten tenths. That is one. Yeah. Give yourself a round of applause. Polite golf clap. Yes, polite golf clap. Very good, very good, very good. All right, he steps onto the scale. 39.6 pounds. That means he's 39 and six 